Hey up guys, how's it going? Welcome to the first video that we'll be doing on a Football Manager 2016 save. And uh, this series will be with Wolfsburg. I've sort of become a big fan of Bundesliga football over the last, let's say, two to three seasons. And really, the team that got me back into you know German football was Borussia Dortmund under Klopp. And... Um, I just think there's something about German football that other leagues like. I really do like how cheap the tickets are for fans to go and see. I just think that's great. And um, I just think it's slowly getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, if you look at the, the clubs throughout the German league now, all of them have got near enough decent teams. So we're going to see what we can do here over, say, two, three seasons. But this one save here, after I do whatever think I want to do with Wolfsburg I really want to go to a different club so I'm going to continue this save uh, that's what my, I plan on doing anyway and um, it may be a month or two time I'll be doing a save in England maybe with a lower league team maybe with a championship team and seeing what I can do there as well so uh, I've got some decent ideas um, so yeah I'm going to try and make this video as quick as I can because I need to be doing something um, but going to the transfers, you know, Wolfsburg anyway, looking at the competitions they've won, I'm just trying to get, they've won the Bundesliga or German First Division once in 2009 and last year they was runner up in 2015, uh, they won the German Cup last year as well and was runners up in 995, uh, runners up in the Super Cup, so they didn't, they did, you know, they've had success in other you know, German divisions, um, but when it comes to, you know, Bundesliga, they've only won it once, and well done to them, because it's pretty hard when there's a club like Bayern Munich there. Um, but let's see what we can do over the seasons. I'm going to the transfers. Um, you know, when I initially took over, I, I thought we needed more firepower up front, so we saw Bastos. To Tottenham Hotspurs for 12.25 million. Um, one of my friends thought, you know, he's a good player and thinks he's a good player and everything like that. But it's really, when it comes to selling players and buying players, what I try and do is replace them with better players. That's my main thing. So I sold him for 12.25 million. Uh, Nicholas Bentner to Schalke for 5.75 million. And Daniel uh, Caliguri, Caliguri uh, to AS Monaco for 16.25 million. We brought in 34.25 million there. And the players we brought in, we brought Sorate in from West Ham for 3.1 million. Sorate is a bit of a, a beast for me on FIFA and football managers in the past. So I'm very happy because he can play in two positions as well. So I think that's just a really good bargain. And he's still only 28. Del Piero on a free transfer. I more or less guarantee quite a lot of people have been doing this as well, getting Del Piero in. On a free transfer, the guy is a legend, and if you look at his technical and mental stats, they are still world class. His physical stats, though, um, yeah, they're not, they're not. <laughs> he's past his peak, put it that way. But Del Piero is just a class act, and he's one of the first guys I can actually remember in, in footballing terms. You know, uh, since watching it, he's been around for such a long time now. You know, for over twenty years. Well, yeah, even longer than that. God, he's, he's been playing about two, three years before I was even born. So, yeah, huge respect, uh, Mr. Del Piero. Uh, Axel Witzel, is 9.75. I think Witzel is one of the, I think, underrated players in Europe. Um, I used him a lot on FIFA as well. I think for 9.75 million, if you look at this guy's stats and his age, um, that is a great, great bargain. Next of all is Barboza from Santos for 11.75 million. Some of these fees weren't up front through over 48 months. That's why I paid over the odds. Um, not over the odds, but you know I spent a little bit more than maybe I had to so I could still bring in some other players. Um, Using them as a complete forward. Basically this guy is my replacement for Bastos. So as you can see I've brought in a younger player and uh, According to his stats, he's a lot better than Bastos, so very happy with that. And Barboza 
can play in attacking midfield on either wing so that's very good in case we need to use that next floor is dodo uh, for 2.4 million great bargain um, he can play in attacking midfield up front or in the center midfield so he's just very versatile um, scored a great goal for me in his first couple of appearances scored a nice like curled shot in the corner i've been playing him a little bit out of position on the left hand side but dodo um, if you can get this guy you've got a great bargain especially with a sort of lower ranked team he'd uh, work well for you maybe in the, the premier league as well i brought in steve harper as well in free transfer as we've had injuries uh, with goalkeepers until that's 27 million but we've also got some players that will be coming in january first of all is pato he'll be joining for five million uh, pato for me um watching him in his earlier days at ac milan the guy has such great potential i think you know in recent years um his fitness seems to have come back to him because in at ac milan he had two seasons where he hardly played and kept on getting these injuries so i'm glad to see him back um fit and everything like that i think sometimes all what you need to do is really ch you know change the way you train uh pat was a great player and for five million i'm very happy and lucas romero i haven't used this guy even though quite a lot of people have on football manager um last year when i had the everton save going on or last football manager when i had the everton save going on uh, lucas romero wins me a lot um at man united and he f fucking tore me apart a few times. Oh, he, he tore our defence apart. So I thought I'd bring him in and for the price, you know, you can't go wrong, 3.5 million for a youngster like that. So I'm very happy with the chances I brought in. I think I've been very wise with the money. Um, going to the schedule that we've had. Um, we had an average uh, pre-season, I won't really talk about. Then we had a 10-0 win, which was uh, pretty cool. And then we had a 3-3 draw over 90 minutes i think it went straight into penalties after 90 minutes i'm pretty sure it did um but by munich won us and then we had a 3-1 win against celta in the friendly and then real sociedad we beat them 1-0 we started off the the real legit campaign with a nice 2-1 win in the german cup first round and then we won our first game of the season uh, against hanover 4-0 Lost against Mainz 3-1, devastating, just nothing went right in that game, it was insane. Then we beat BMG 3-1 after going behind, I was very happy with that. 1-0 win against Colm, I think that's how you say it. 4-0 win against Sport in Lisbon, just, we just tore them apart basically. 1-0 win against Schalke, a nice 1-0 win against Bremen, and then a 4-1 win against Frankfurt. Um, Dodo scoring a great goal in that. And against Man United, uh, they completely just destroyed us. Physically, speed, gameplay, they were just so much better than us. It was kind of embarrassing, to be honest. And I actually recorded the video um, in that game, but I didn't want to upload it because I went so quiet during the match. I was just like, whoa, you know, because I was so confident going into the game and how they destroyed us it just wouldn't have, would have been a good video to upload to be honest with you and then we had a 2-1 defeat against Ulsberg they were very 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 lucky in that game we should have won that easily but we went ahead and we just gifted them goals so it was very unfortunate and then we had a 1-0 win against Darmstadt I'll say that they had two players sent off one in the 24th and one in the 90th Barboza scoring but we should have won that i think at least three now to be honest with you guys we've uh, won a few games this season going into today's game against juventus uh big game our group as you probably recognized it from the matches is juventus man united us and obviously sporting we're in our first game so this is a big game um against juventus and we're away from home again um so if we can get a draw i'll be very happy with that and then we can entertain united and uh, Juventus at home so let's see what we can do I'm um, looking at the actual um, league at the moment we're second 21 points um, Bayern Munich ahead of us by three points on 24 Leverkusen in third on 17 points we've already got a four point lead over Leverkusen who are in third so I'm very happy with that um, I want to finish in the top three this season and see what we can do from there basically um, 
looking at my team. Don't know if you can hear that scooter going past. They're like big fucking um, hair dryers, those scooters at times when they go past your house. That's too loud. Our number one goalkeepers are injured for, you know, he'll be coming back in the next, say, two weeks. Um, that's why we've got Steve Harper in. They're unregistered for the Champions League, though. Um, I think my standout player so far this season for me is probably Schurler and uh, Cruz, Max Cruz. I think that's how you want to say his name. Um, Barbosa settled in pretty well, though, for a youngster, scoring four from eight. So I'm very happy with that. Um, so, yeah, let's see what we can do in today's game, guys. If we can get a draw, I'll be very happy. But Juventus, I mean, you know, they're still a good team, even though they're sold. You know, people like... Uh, Let's have a look at their team. Diablo, Mandzukic, Sami Khedira, Pogba, God, Azamoa, Cellini. On the left-hand side? Okay, then. Play team advice. Um, Mandzukic, I've got a lot of respect for that guy. Pogba, type marking. Yep, didn't really. So we kick off Dodo. I'm gonna say has been a big disappointment for me though. He's he's been terrible. Ooh, teasing cross in there though, but nobody could get onto it. Chalene has picked up a knock already. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean every now who is a legit left back's come on, so fair enough. But yeah, United destroyed us in that game. I just went really quiet and I thought it just have been a shit upload because it was a pretty long video as well, so. And they've already had two shots on the target. Sporting a one 0 up. Diablo to Pogba. Mandzukic could save by Grun, who is our third choice goalkeeper basically. In the United game I went under control. Tried to control them, but obviously it didn't really plan out too well. So this, I'm just not trying to commit to attacking or defending. I'm just, you know, standard. Let's see what we can do. That's normally what I've done in the past on uh, previous football managers against big teams. Because sometimes when you defend, you know, it's... You leave yourself open to attack like that, you know. So you've entered one nil up, 25 minutes gone. But yeah, I don't know if this is going to be a good night for us. I will definitely change things around though. Half time or maybe soon. Dodo. Right, Pogba just boots it out there. Oh wait, a slide tackle. Can we make something from this corner? Pass it out wide, Shirley. Oh, Gustavo. Rodriguez. Oh, was that Benucci there throwing to us? Come on, run, number seven, Gustavo. Put way too much on that pass, but Dodo, he might have been able to pass it towards the penalty spot there, but he didn't. Whether that were classed as a clear cut chance, was it? Okay. Collected that pretty well there, maybe we can do a bit of a counter attack there. Gustavo Mandzukic went out for a corner Cruz gets it away they've been all over us with shots there's a free, free clear cut chances Rodriguez into the box get a good crossing mate come on Rizzo makes it 1-1 second goal of the season smash 42nd minute, get a draw, be very happy. That score thing won't work in there. Okay, um, if you were going to change that now, what would you do? Okay, so what would you do? 
you know, I think I've got that. Um, be a bit more expressive. Yeah, okay. Really, I don't like to go into like a team talk and make out that we are the underdogs, though, because it's. You know, I think I've got a pretty decent team where I can compete against top clubs. So. I don't know. Um, Dodo, let's take him off. He hasn't been performing too well. Draxler. Winger. Um. Let's keep it like that. Okay, Juventus kick off. Benucci. Azamoa. Azamoa always seems to be playing in all sorts of positions when I've seen him play in recent times. Left back, centre midfield. Attacking midfield, I've seen him and I'm sure I have. I think he's just like a really versatile player. Buffon, Benucci. Over had all sorts of space there. Okay, good tackle there, Draxler now who's on the pitch. Good pass pass it he should have thought it should have done a first time pass though Shirley there. Just drunk. God, that was just easy for them there. Did you see how he passed it into the net there? Goalkeeper did nothing. Sixty minutes. Barbosa's is at the terrible game. Six point one bars he had in his service, you know what I mean? I'd rather I've played him today. I don't even know how you say the guy's name, to be honest with you. Okay, corner kick to Juventus. Manucho, Mandzukic. Yeah, Matt, he's 12th goal of the season already. Wow. 76 minutes. They've just completely dominated us. Is it because we're away from home, though? Man United are winning now as well, so we need to, in the next couple of games against Juventus and Man United, we need to get three points against them both. Oh, T, whoa, what happened there? Certainly didn't mean it, it said. Okay, you know what? Let me just quickly change things around here. I've got nothing to lose. Let's go attacking. Could you, it'd be amazing if we could get a free free draw here. Ninety, no, ninety-one minutes gone. No, nope. free uh, corner. Hernandez gets away. Three two against Juventus. Not such a bad result, cons you know, considering how many shots they had. Um, you know, but looking at the group here, um, we need to win against United, Juventus next time out, and we need to win against Sporting again. Um, worst comes to the worst, you know, Europa League football, I think, if, yeah, you know, um, if we finish third. But we'll see what we can do, guys. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch this video, and uh, take care.